Have you ever wondered about the average car debt in the UK? Well, join us as we delve into the world of car loans and discover the staggering figures behind this growing trend. Buying a car can be quite the financial journey. Whether it's a shiny new ride or a pre-loved gem, for many people, taking out a loan becomes the most realistic option to finance their wheels. And that's where car loans come into play. With millions of cars being sold every year in the UK, the average car debt has been on the rise. Most brand new vehicles bought in the UK are paid for with some form of financing, be it credit, a personal loan or an alternative option. This means that every new car owner who relies on financing is getting themselves into debt. While some find this debt manageable, others may face challenges keeping it under control. So let's dig into the recent figures and truly understand the scale of car debt here in the UK. The average car debt across the UK has been steadily growing over the last few years. From 2017 to 2021, the average car loan amount jumped from £5,666 to 7,142. That's an increase of 26% over just five years. But here's the shocking part. Over the last 10 years, that increase has reached a staggering 87%. While car debt continues to rise, wages have not seen the same growth. Average wages have only increased by 33% since 2009. This leaves many households having to allocate a higher percentage of their income towards debt repayment. In fact, the average UK customer currently pays between £300 and £400 a month on their car finance, with 10.1% of the customers spending upwards of £500 a month. These figures highlight the significant financial commitment that car ownership can entail. Now let's shift our focus to loans for new cars in the UK. As you might expect, buying a new car usually comes with a higher price tag compared to purchasing a used one. This means potentially larger loans and longer repayment periods. Currently, almost £17.5 billion is borrowed every year to pay for new cars in the UK. Before the coronavirus pandemic, that figure stood at nearly £20 billion annually. And get this, from 2009 to 2022, the average amount of money borrowed to buy a new car increased from £11,964 to a staggering £25,039. In 2009, only 40% of privately purchased new cars were financed at the point of sale, with the majority of financing coming from external sources like personal loans. However, fast forward to 2022, and a whopping 93% of privately purchased new cars were financed at the point of sale, indicating that the majority of car loans are now tied to the dealership. In the 12 months leading up to September 2021, customers purchased a remarkable 728,690 new cars through financing, while businesses acquired 323,660 new cars through similar means. These figures show just how prevalent car loans have become in the UK. Shifting gears to loans for used cars, the data reveals an interesting trend. Despite used cars costing less, they remain a more popular option among UK consumers, with higher sales figures recorded in second-hand vehicles. And believe it or not, the total amount borrowed across the country to fund these sales is actually higher. Between July 2021 and June 2022 alone, over £22 billion was borrowed to pay for used cars. From 2009 until 2022, the average amount of money borrowed to buy a used car increased from £8,444 to £15,771. That's quite a jump, isn't it? In the 12 months leading up to September 2021, customers financed the purchase of a whopping 1,345,240 used vehicles, while businesses acquired 50,490 used cars through financing. The year-on-year -year growth for used car loans is increasing month-on-month. -month. The average car debt in the UK is on the rise, impacting both new and used car buyers. It's crucial to carefully consider your financial situation and the long-term implications before diving into a car loan. If you're struggling with debt, then there are a number of debt solution options available here in the UK. Some are free to use and others will include fees, and each will have their own pros and cons. If you want to learn more about the solutions available, then we've created a really great form that you might be interested in checking out. Click the link in the description to get started and answer a few multiple choice questions, like the total amount of debt, how many people you owe, and your living situation, and we'll connect you with one of our trusted partners so you can find out more and take steps towards improving your financial situation.